ladies and gentlemen, it is I, your host with the most the collective detective, because my methods are effective. And I'm making a correction in the direction of my erection. I am nicer than a splicer, but I'm still part of the dirty, dirty horde. And we're back here with Lake, third part of this wonderfully soothing game that I must say I have enjoyed. Like I said, it's a change of pace from all the uh, shooting and explosions that I usually uh, involve myself when I'm streaming. Um, it's a pretty awesome game. I suggest you guys check it out. It's on the Xbox Game Pass. If uh, if you don't have the Game Pass, I really suggest you uh, shell out the money for it because it's worth it. It's Like I said, it's a change of pace, and I think that in the world that we live in today, we, we need some change. We need something different to, uh, you know, just keep us honest, so to speak. So this is September 13. Happy Saturday, everyone. Let's it's time do this. once again for a Theo positive report. <laughs> Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. That's it? That's the end of the story? You suddenly encountered a majestic stag and that's it? Oh, you're still here, huh? That makes two of us. When are your parents coming back? <laughs> Actually, they might just stay in Florida. Florida? Your parents? Uh, yeah. Dear God. Yeah, isn't it weird? They'll be back soon. Florida is expensive and honestly isn't all it's cracked up to be. Gee, you have no idea. We'll see what happens. Sunshine and the beach get boring real fast. Well, I better be yep. on my way. Have a nice day. Indeed it does. Can't say much about this rain, though. Somebody uh, told me that mailman. The reason why the mail cart is on the uh, on the what do you call it? The the, the, left, the right side of the car is because that way the the delivery the mailman can doesn't have to go too far to get the mail into the mailbox, which of course makes sense. Given the fact that they gotta make a lot of stops Where's that guy my best friend was talking about? Ooh, check the fields. He's on the fields. There's no one here. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know her. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame. Enjoy some 
whale performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening, and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there, too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Um, ghost drivers? Ghost yeah, drivers? you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen oh, them. Oh, me. Okay, I was just wondering. <laughs> Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. What? All right. Right, so apparently, yeah, there is a guy with a metal detector on the field, but where? I mean, are they like hidden? Where the hell? <laughs> Let me just take the truck over. There's no one here. This guy's just trolling the shit out of me or something. I just saw the guy that does say that there's someone there. Just can't seem to find them. Maybe I'll try later. When the rain stops or something. It's not a big deal, it's just a hundred points of achievements. Oh, I've got a package for a gamer boy here. Oh, this is him. Hi there. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting a metal detector here. Uh, 
I'm not a metal detector, actually. Oh, of course, you're a detectorist. Very good. If I had a penny for every time someone called me a metal detector, I'd have... You'd be poor. Well, I, I'd have a lot of pennies. <laughs> I bet. Have you found anything interesting yet? Yeah, I've, I've found a couple of things. A uh, nail, a penny, <laughs> a, nail. a soda can, so empty soda can. Not the things you're looking for, I presume? I'm not sure what I'm looking for, to be honest, but... I guess that's part of the fun. Saves me from disappointment as well. But I guess you wouldn't mind digging up a treasure. Yeah, although maybe that's just what I'm telling myself when secretly I'm hoping for treasure. Even a penny can be worth a treasure. Oh yes, metal True. detecting is a surefire way to become a millionaire. Whoops, did <laughs> I just reveal the world's best kept secret? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, it's safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get back to it now. I need to be our MDC later. Your MDC? A metal detecting club. We compare finds, we discuss the hobby. Sometimes our club president gives us all kinds things like buttons. Buttons. Buttons? Mmm. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you too. Good luck. Well, I got a package to deliver here. What on earth did these folks order? Let me see something. Oh, I just got it, but it never, it never popped. Why are my achievements not popping up? That ain't gonna work. Oh my god, I'm getting soaked. No, don't get in there. God, the rain has gotten worse. Where's the detector? Oh shit. He just disappeared. Oh my god, this guy's still playing games. Hey, Weird Al. It's the mail. I'm busy. Oh my god. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. <laughs> oh my god, I should... Ooh, take it easy. It's just a game. Yeah, <sighs> dude. Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Have you tried maybe fishing? Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game. And I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. All right. All right, let's just leave. This guy's obviously not all gamers are like that, people. Just, uh, just a little side note there. We're not all social outcasts. I gotta go out of my way real bad for this one. Well, not that bad. To get out of here is going to be a pain in the ass. 
Where is this house at? Oh, there's the mailbox. Jesus. Hmm, these look like bills. I gotta say, uh, mailmen are really committed and really well disciplined. Because I've seen some rain and they still deliver the mail. Jesus, she doesn't bring an umbrella or anything. You're just, you know, soldiering through this ring. I do, I do, I must know, do, uh, do mail carriers um, ever, like, take umbrellas and everything on their job? Because I don't think I'd, you know, get this wet trying to deliver a package. No, no answer. Nobody, half of the people here are, have, like, what, three or four cars? They just leave two of them at home? How do they get wherever they need to get? Uh, a friend of mine sort of uh, told me like this is like a updated, um, you know, up-to-date version of Paperboy. And I'm like, well, it's got its like little quirks similar to Paperboy, but you know, Paperboy was simply, you know, uh, you know, delivering newspapers, while this one we have to, a lot more intricate delivery system, more interaction with people, and uh, up to this point I have seen no ninjas try to take, take me down in the middle of the street. So, yeah, that, that's where the Paperboy similarities go out. Saturday or Sunday in the game? I kind of lost track.
And I guess our friend is uh, moving. Our friend, girlfriend, movie buddy. She's moving out, so. And uh, our boss, Steve, has already like closed off a deal for a <laughs> mega raise and uh, 20% uh, income increase or something like that. What was it? A shares or something? I don't know exactly what that amounts to, but it must be pretty good. 1980s I'm money. Calling it a day. Yeah, definitely. Let's call it a day. Isn't the uh, karaoke night extravaganza tonight in this game? Save again just in case. Ah, get up there. God, please to... And so ends a week full of turmoil. You can say that again. We the angels had lost to the White Sox. That would have made it <laughs> perfect. Oh dear. Never underestimate White Sox. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Nope. Hold the line. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Oh dear. Or maybe I just put you in bankruptcy. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you. It is? They still haven't found oh. someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Are you serious? Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning. Turn your stuff. Gonna run now. The Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Oh dear. Even back then, well, it's always been a big rivalry. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well, <laughs> it was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. Huh. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Oh, dear. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones? Oh, perhaps? my God. This lady is a pain the ass. No, no, that's not it. It's just easy going here. The surroundings, the job, the people. Maybe you just need a break, or maybe this really is what you want. But whatever you decide, think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. Oh, dear God. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep <laughs> over me. 
Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 3. Come in! Are we With reading, the most regretted really? words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! When she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's <laughs> apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. What? I, I, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> oh, here we go with the added thing. Damn, she could type. She must be really good with her hands. Ooh, yeah, I went there. Oh, yeah, the open mic. Oh my god, I can't wait to hear Kay perform. God, that woman is such a disaster. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. Oh a guy walks into a bar, and dozens of oh slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, <laughs> ah, you're new here. Well... We like to play a game here. If you can jump up oh and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tap. Holy so, shit. Give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own okay. newcomer, okay. Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway. But all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. <laughs> well, uh... well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do I you sure like hope so. the hair? Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite oh the waste God. of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Why? What's uh, what you got going on? Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, oh. and he's staying the whole well, weekend. Well, that's good. Isn't that like a wonderful thing? Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Oh, hi, Matt. What happened? No, well, I was not about funny. to send the final boss to the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Guess who? Good. Jack Burton? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better. Though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Well... Well, Matt Kearney's condition is worth a mention. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? <sighs> I 
Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey, Meredith. Hey, Angie. Sorry oh, to pop God. in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio. I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. Raccoon is ready to go. <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. <laughs> an RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I'm the proud owner of the raccoon. Wow, good for raccoon. you. I'd love a free RV. Huh. <sighs> what do I do? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Cool. So, where are you going to take it? Wherever the open road takes me. Sounds good to me. A free spirit, the way Mickey and June intended. Can I come? <laughs> hmm, I have grown quite fond of you, you know. Likewise, Miss Weiss. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Angie, wait! Dear people, none other than our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs oh since she was a little girl. And Maybe I she cannot just... say how thrilled well. I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am I'm so not sure you wanna say proud that. of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Oh dear. Don't take it the wrong way if I just boo this chick. Well, she's gotten better. Well, it's not bad. Not bad. Short, sweet. Darling, this does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Didn't expect you here. Well, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so uh, much for wouldn't coming. Wouldn't know about that. But... I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. 
And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. That's sweet. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Yeah. Kay's place, huh? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> that was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? I have to hand it to you. You were great. I have to go in a bit, but let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? The fun's just starting. Oh, wait. Of course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. Aww. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? I loved it. Jack was great. Good, good. Honestly, when Jack started telling those jokes, oh, I didn't know whether to suck him one or laugh out loud, you know? Oh, that man is something, all right. And what about Kay, huh? I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner, Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Yeah, seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out. And maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods, rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back. I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hon. Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen.
Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Wow. <laughs> Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. <laughs> um, well, I think... Ah. Uh... So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith. Thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, oh, I dear. bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Ah, oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Hmm. Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. Can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Oh, God. Yes, please. Only if we can talk about something other than baseball. All right, go grab your stuff and let's go. So, if you're leaving, what's going to happen to the raccoon? I don't know. Do you have any ideas? You could leave it in storage here or put it up for sale. Give it to someone else who will use it. Are you hinting at something, Lori? Well, you can store it at our place if you want. We have enough space. Or I might use it to hide from my parents every once in a while. You know what? You can have it. What? Really? Oh, wow! That's so rad. Yeah, imagine that. Have fun with it, Lori. You'll get much more use out of it than I ever could, probably. All right. This is going to be fun. Hey, Meredith, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Lori. It was really fun watching that movie and working on the RV with you. <laughs> Me too. Besides, you'll be back sometime, right? Of course. I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? Ha! I'd love that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. See you around. Wagons West. So, here we are again, heading the other way. Aren't you going to miss it here? Probably. It feels odd to be leaving again. I wouldn't want to leave this place, not for a million bucks. Well, wait, no, two million bucks should be enough. Do you believe money can buy happiness? That's a good question. <laughs> a big pile of cash no. right now, and I'll feel real happy. And I'm sure it'll last a couple of days, but then it'll exactly. probably start to wear Trust off. Me. And I'll be back to no. complaining about the weather before you know it. But it's probably nicer to complain about the weather when you're living in a big old mansion. Hey, what's this honking clown up to? Move out of the way, you l Wait a minute. That's Robert Harris. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling over. Sorry about that, Frank. Hope it didn't scare you. That's okay, Robert. I'm a road rage veteran. But, uh, what's all this about? It's not about you, Frank. I need to talk to Meredith. Oh, uh, okay. I'll go have a smoke. Hey, Meredith. This is gonna sound super awkward. And hopeless. And desperate. And probably a lot more things. But I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this. But... 
I guess it's not something you can decide. Um. Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I've made up my mind about this. I'm leaving PL. Yeah, okay, yeah. I sort of kind of figured you'd say that. Sorry, Robert. I know this will sound like crap, but I'm sure you'll find someone else. Thanks, Meredith. Well, I better get back to work again. Take care. Okay. You too, Robert. Okay, Meredith. Let's get you to the airport. I've got a double shift today, and the mail doesn't deliver itself. But I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own K Evans. <laughs> Wait, but. What the hell? No, oh, wait a minute. What the hell happened? I guess you know what? Let's do the whole I, I wanna I wanna leave with the girl with um I forgot her name. Gia? Uh, shit. I forgot her name. I guess that's awful. And try every single outcome. And so ends a week full of turmoil. You can say that again. Only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. Never underestimate. I'm gonna try White and Sox. answer it every single thing. Change the bet. Yeah, that sounds logical. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you. Still haven't found someone else for the job. So, I guess, you can have it, if you want. Wow. That sounds quite nice, actually. Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it. Let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. The Red Sox are playing the Yankees. your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well, I actually really loved it. Awesome. Maybe you should just keep doing it. Worked out well for me. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me. Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Well, yeah, why not? I like it here. Well, P.O. is wonderful, of course. I know. But you've got so much going on. Do you want to leave all that behind? Yeah, I... I guess that's what it comes down to. 
Is it just work-related, or are there other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. Oh my god. You never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! <laughs> the Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 3. Come in! were the most regretted words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! when she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Whatever. This time we're trying the ending with uh, I'll stay in town. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar. And dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So we asked the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. <laughs> Well, folks, I don't understand wasn't that it. That's special. Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? <laughs> to be completely honest, it doesn't look all that different. Hmm, to be honest, it feels like a waste anyway, as I can only stay for a few moments. That's too bad. You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced. And he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Oh, hi, Matt. 
What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Ah, oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again soon. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. Guess who? Jack Burton? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Well, duh. You're a little late. So, what have I missed? Oh, it's great so far. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Busy packing, I guess. Super busy. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have more time to... Hey, Meredith. Hey, Angie. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The raccoon is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later! An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I'm the proud owner of the raccoon. Wow, good for you. I'd love a free RV. You know, come to think of it, you might have more of a use for it than I do. I... I'd love an RV. I mean, that'd be perfect. But I, I don't know if I can accept it. I mean, June and Mickey must have entrusted you with it for a reason. Are you sure you don't want to keep it? I don't know. They seem to... Nah, I'm good. It's all yours. What are they running wow. away from to Canada? I don't know what to say. <laughs> and that's a first for me. Don't mention it. I just like seeing you happy. And vice versa, babe. Really. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind. And go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. You know, I think I'd rather be by myself for a while. I understand. I'm saving that but last choice point, for, gotta give me for a later. Answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks! It's time for the final act. It's a doozy! <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Okay, I'll let you know. Dear people, none other than our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl, and... I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. there was an interrupt option to go like boo boo suddenly these choices make me smile what if i just enjoy the ride life's a game of chance for every break you get you leave another one behind just as a long as you keep trying She's gotten better than, uh, than the original uh, 
display of singing this that she had on the tape. But you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mokays. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. I like Kay's place. And have some drinks with us. I like Kay's place. <laughs> Kay's place, huh? Congratulations. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> But it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. You were great. I have to go in a bit, but... Let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? The fun's just starting. Oh, wait. Of course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See ya, Kay. Thanks. For everything. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next. But I just heard he what? hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for oh joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. They gotta switch it to Kay's place. I like Kay's place. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? I loved it. Jack was great. Good, good. Honestly, when Jack started telling those jokes, oh, I didn't know whether to suck him one or laugh out loud, you know? Oh, that man is something, all right. And what about Kay, huh? Oh, she was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Yeah, seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, 
I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out. And maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods. Rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected, and I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back? Absolutely, not a speck of doubt. Well then, Miss Wise, I salute your resolve. Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. All righty. Here we go. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. Gee, what a surprise. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the White Sox, just like you said, and lost. Oh, God. But they played again yesterday, oh, and I let it ride. And then they won. They're playing again tonight. And now, I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith. Thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Eh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha, <laughs> you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Okay, let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning! Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. positive or pet peeve? I don't need callers for today's P.O. Positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no. Actually, I am not sorry. Not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Ah. Uh... You tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y yeah, yeah, Robert. I'll pull over. Oh, dear. Well, I'm glad he didn't ram hey, us to the Mary, side of the road there. I hope it didn't scare you. No, not at all. Hey, Robert. What's going on? Well, this is going to sound super awkward. And hopeless. And desperate. And probably a lot more things, but... I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. I... wait, what? You're not going? <laughs> yep. It's nice here. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, great. Well... I might as well blurt it all out. I like you. A lot. Oh, dear. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once. And 
I didn't ever <laughs> feeling like that again. <sighs> right. Robert, I can't just decide that right now. And I have mail to deliver. <laughs> the mail can wait. Stick it to the man. I mean, the man, in general. Not me. Just hop in my oh. car. Oh, dear. I can't do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, Meredith, I understand. And yeah, calling sounds good. Have a great day. Yeah, thanks, Robert. It's a lot better than uh, just jumping into your car, you know, out of nowhere. It just uh, feels very, very weird, Server sir. Button, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. There we go. This new song is from our very the hometown. Own Kevin. All right. I guess you can say I saved the best for last. And yes, I did save the best for last because now it's time for the canon ending. And this is going to be the last one. Canon ending, no matter what. I never, uh, I'm surprised I never talked to uh, Steve again at all. time for the free spirit we're going with the girl we like or I like or whatever the character and now comes the cannon ending and so ends a week full of turmoil are you happy it's over? Only the Angels haven't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. Never underestimate White Sox. They're playing each other again tonight. Should they change the bet? Nope. Hold the line. Okay. Hold let's see the what line. happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you. But they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Thanks, Frank, but no. Are you sure? It's a great job. You know what? Think about it and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. You gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... Don't take this personally, but I'm glad it's almost over. <laughs> no apologies necessary, Meredith. I'm glad you gave it a try. Yep. And at least now I can finally put faces to your mailman war stories. <laughs> I was hoping I could listen to one of those for once. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Well, of course. <sighs> Sorry to butt in, but I was wondering, are you planning on going back to the city? Hi, Mom. I don't know. Sometimes I also feel like driving off in an RV and leaving my old life behind. You what? Have you been drinking? <laughs> Has she been drinking? <laughs> no, no, I oh, haven't boy. been drinking. It's funny how, huh? I think I just really feel like doing this. Oh dear, where did you get this idea? Do you even own oh, an God. RV? Well... Well, this one night I was at a campfire with Mickey and June, and they 
wanted me to have their RV. Honey, I hope you understand that I'm really worried about this. Let me talk to her. Oh, hold on. Oh dear. Here. Let me guess. Dad wants to talk to me? Meredith, you're driving off in an RV? Did you get a mini Winnie? Oh god. What? I'm not sure who manufactured it, Dad. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Uh, are you driving by yourself or do you have a wingman? I really haven't made up my mind about any of this. It would be quite an adventure. You should drive over to us. A 3,000 mile trip of a lifetime. Oh, hang on. Your mom wants to talk to you. Honey, whatever you do, please promise me you'll be safe and keep in touch with us. I will, Mom. Don't worry about me. I'll stay in touch. Okay, dear. I want to send you pictures of our new place here. So let me know your new address. Gotta go now. Running out of coins. Again. Okay, Mom. I'll keep you updated. Bye. Her parents the are Countess kind of annoying. Chapter 3. Oh, God. More Come reading. In. Were the most regretted words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! When she saw the surprised face of the carpenter's apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Jesus, she can type. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well... We like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tap. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. Seems like an <laughs> awful risk, if you know what I mean. I mean, shit. <laughs> this one's for our own that was newcomer, pretty good. Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway. But all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. Well, folks, wasn't that <laughs> yeah, that's special? <laughs> now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both cats, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? To be completely honest, it doesn't look all that different. Hmm. To be honest, it feels like a waste anyway. So I can only stay for a few moments. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right, well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? It is hilarious. I must admit it. It's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to Weird send out the final here. boss, the <laughs> afterlife, but then the computer crashed. 
I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Aw. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this, but I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Guess who? Jack Burton? <laughs> Aw, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better, though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Well... Eh, not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey, Meredith. Hey, Angie. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just uh. wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The raccoon is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later! An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I'm the proud owner of the raccoon. Wow, good for you. I'd love a free RV. You know, come to think of it, you might have more of a use for it than I do. I... I'd love an RV. I mean, that'd be perfect. But I, I don't know if I can accept it. I mean, June and Mickey must have entrusted you with it for a reason. Are you sure you don't want to keep it? Nah, I'm good. It's all yours. Wow, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and that's a first for me. Don't mention it. I just like seeing you happy. And vice versa, babe. Really. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind. And go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. Hmm. I have grown quite fond of you. you know. <sighs> Likewise, Miss Weiss. But... At some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Angie, wait. Dear people, none oh, come on, than really? our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. <laughs> Even she doesn't know what to expect. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless.
speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. I don't Bert, agree with that, thank but... Thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled like on Kay's the name place. yet. but. There you go! Another round of applause! And have some drinks with us! Is it with you? Drinks on us or with us? I mean. Case place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. I have to hand it to you. You were great. I have to go in a bit, but let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? The fun's just starting. Oh, wait. Of course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, honey. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course! And remember... Time... Marches, marches on! on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? I loved it. Jack was great. Good, good. Honestly, when Jack started telling those jokes, oh, I didn't know whether to suck him one or laugh out loud, you know? Oh, that man is something, all right. And what about Kay, huh? Oh, she was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. You know, seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! Huh, you know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, 
I'll probably stick around the diner for now. Help out. And maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods. Rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. Is that where the movie Cabin in the Woods that comes from? That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it just? That How do things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? Absolutely. Not a speck of doubt. Well then, Miss Wise, I salute your resolve. Even if it means I'm leaving? Sure, hon. Listen, I'd love to have you around. You know that. But you have to do things because you want to. Or because you feel you need to do them for yourself. You don't owe any of us anything. Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. All right, comes the big day. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Oh, God. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography <laughs> for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, oh, and God. won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith, thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job, and that's not just because you're wearing your coat. Oh I dear. I the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Ah, oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you gonna do? Well, actually, I'm. Uh... A van? So you're staying in the delivery business? No, wait. That's an RV. Yep. I'm getting on it, and I'm not sure where I'll stop. Yep. So, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna miss you, Frank. Thanks for everything. Try to stay out of trouble, okay? Don't worry, Meredith. I'll be fine. Thanks for everything. Take care and drive safe. And the V-Belt is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The raccoon in all of her Month glory. or three? Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. You're very welcome. Hey, Meredith, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Lori. It was really fun watching that movie and working on the RV with you. <laughs> me too. Besides, you'll be back sometime, right? Of course. I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? Ha! I'd love that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. See you around. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, 
and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going <laughs> first? <laughs> yeah, about that. Hmm? I've grown quite fond of you, Angie. Hadn't you noticed? And here I was, wondering if it was just my imagination. The feeling's mutual, babe. I'm in the driver's seat, by the way. I've heard about your driving. What? What have you heard? From 